Before we get started, I thought I would show you all my new toy and why my wife has been so mad at me. <laughs> because I got a new knife. Hashtag not sponsored, by the way. This is a Benchmade Infidel. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. Went into the store and was not expecting to see this. The 10 year anniversary Benchmade Infidel. It has the aluminum handle and the black blade. He only had one for sale. So, of course, I ended up buying it. Uh, also came with this coin. It says 10 year anniversary of the Infidel. Pretty sure they're only making these in 2017. And I think this is supposed to be more of like a showpiece or a collector's item. But this thing is awesome. So I'm probably going to carry it anyways. And what's the point of spending all that money if you're not going to use it? Right? But anyways, I figured some show and tell was in order. Thought you guys would like to see this. What's up guys, my name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. And today we're going to shoot 48 inches of 10% ballistics gel with a 44 Magnum and a 454 Casul. Uh, we normally use a longer barrel when we do these tests, and I always get a question or two in the comments asking, well, what if I used a shorter barrel, like a 6 inch barrel, or a 4 inch barrel, or a 2 inch barrel? Uh, what kind of difference would that make when it comes to velocity, muzzle energy, penetration? Well, I'm not chronographing these rounds, but we are testing for penetration. So I thought it would be fun in today's video to use a short barrel and a longer barrel for each caliber and just see what the differences are in the gel. So as for the guns we're using, be right back. Okay, for the 44 Magnum, we're going to use this Smith & Wesson model 629 with a 2.5 inch barrel. And then we're also going to use a Ruger Super Red Hawk 44 Magnum with a 9.5 inch barrel. Now for the 454 Casul, be right back again. Okay, I'm back. For the 454 Casul, we're going to use a Ruger Super Red Hawk Alaskan with a 2.5 inch barrel. And then for our longer barrel, we're going to use this Smith & Wesson 460 Magnum with an 8 and 3 8 inch barrel. I don't have a 454 Casul with a longer barrel, but luckily you can shoot 454 out of a 460. So we're going to use this revolver for our longer barrel for the 454 Casul. Be right back one more time. Alright, I'm back. I wanted to free up my hands. So I want to give you guys the question of the day. Uh, today's question comes from a photo that I posted on my Instagram earlier this week. If you don't follow us on Instagram, you really should. I try to post a photo every day, but most times it's like, you know, every other day. But I try. But if you want to keep up with us throughout the week, that's a good way to do it. So go follow us on Instagram. Anyways, I posted a photo of like three different blocks. They're all different colors and a nice little spread. And uh, a lot of people liked it. So I thought, I want to know, what is your favorite Glock? And maybe you don't like Glock. So if you don't like Glock, just write, you know, I don't like Glock. But uh, if you do like Glock, what is your favorite Glock? So leave your uh, answers in the comment section down below so I can see your answers. And uh, if you want to know what my answer is, just come back a day or two later. I put my answer in the comment section and I pin it. So it's the first answer you see when you go down to the comments. Uh, I don't give my answer right off the bat in the video because I don't want to influence anyone else's answer. So that's why I wait and I give it like a day or two later. So if you want to see my answer, just come back to the video a day or two later and it will be in the comment section down below. Now let's take a look at the ammunition we're going to use in today's video. Our ammunition is Underwood ammo. On the left we have a 44 Magnum 300 grain XTP jacketed hollow point and on the right we have a 454 Casul 300 grain XTP jacketed hollow point. The advertised ballistics for this ammunition will be left in the description down below. Before we head out I want to give Underwood ammo a special thanks for supplying us with ammo for today's video. Check them out. There's a link in the description down below that will take you to their website. Now let's head outside and get started. Okay, we've got our 48 inches of 10% ballistics gel set up. We're going to start out with the 44 Magnum with a 9.5 inch barrel with a 300 grain hollow point.
44 Magnum, 300 grain hollow point, fired out of a nine and a half inch barrel. It stopped right at about 36 inches. And at some point it tumbled because the bullet is facing backwards. Now the 454 Casul, 300 grain hollow point, fired out of an eight and three eighths inch barrel. All right, the 454 Casul, 300 grain hollow point, fired out of an eight and three eighths inch barrel. It stopped, looks like right about 30 inches. Now let's see what happens when we use a shorter barrel. We're gonna shoot the same 300 grain, 44 Magnum hollow point out of a two and a half inch barrel, 44 Magnum. Never goes as planned, guys. That shot out the top of the block, so we're gonna have to do it again. So, shot number two with the 300 grain 44 Magnum, two and a half inch barrel. All right, our first shot, uh, it was a little squirrely. Shot out the top of the block, hit that piece of wood, bounced back on the table. You already know this, but I didn't. And after I reviewed the footage, I can see that the bullet did not shoot out the top of the block, hit the piece of wood, and land on the table. It just kind of squeezed out the top and landed on the table. Second shot, looks like it stopped right at about 29 inches. Our first shot with the uh, 44 Magnum with the nine and a half inch barrel stopped at about 36 inches. So we're looking at about a seven inch difference in penetration between the two and a half inch barrel 44 Magnum and the nine and a half inch barrel 44 Magnum. Okay, now we're gonna do the 454 Casul 300 grain hollow point with a two and a half inch barrel. Hopefully we can get this on the first shot, but there's a good chance it's gonna shoot out the top of the block or something. It never goes as planned, so. Here goes nothing. I shot and hit in the same wound channel as one of the 44 Magnums and hit that bullet. So let's try again. Good. Hey, I see you. I see you looking at my butt. So our first shot, we struck another bullet. We hit that 44 Magnum. We managed to get in the same moon channel and hit that bullet. But the second shot stopped right at about 33 inches. But when we shot it with the 8 and 3 8 inch barrel, we stopped at about 30 inches. So we actually went about 3 inches deeper with the shorter barrel. Pretty interesting results. All right, we have our bullets, and this is pretty cool. You all can probably guess, without me telling you, which bullet was shot out of the longer barrel. Did you guess? It's the one on the right. Uh, you can see that it has expanded more because it was moving faster and had more energy. And you can see that it is shorter than the bullet on the left. And the same thing goes for the uh, 454 Casul. You can probably guess. Oh, I'm going to mix them up. And now you're going to have to guess which one was shot out of the shorter barrel. If you guess the one on the right, you're correct. 
This one was shot out of the two and a half inch barrel, and this one was shot out of the eight and three eighths inch barrel. And you can see that it has expanded more, and it is shorter than the one on the right, which was shot out of the two and a half inch barrel, because it had more energy and was moving faster. So therefore, it expanded more. All right, now we're gonna weigh the bullets. Each one of these bullets was 300 grains from the start. This is the 44 Magnum out of the two and a half inch barrel. And we're at 298.7 grains. And this is the 44 Magnum that came out of the nine and a half inch barrel. And we're at 287.4 grains. Now for the 454 Casul, this is out of the two and a half inch barrel. We're at 278.2 grains. And now out of the eight and three eighths inch barrel, 273.3 grains. All right, now we're gonna measure the bullets. First up is the 44 Magnum out of the two and a half inch barrel. And I'm getting a 0.699 inches. Next is the 44 Magnum shot out of the nine and a half inch barrel. And I'm getting 0.698 inches. Now we're gonna do the 454 Casul. This was shot out of the two and a half inch barrel. There's a lot of jacket hanging off the side of this bullet. And if I measure it with the jacket, I get a reading of 0.745 inches. Uh, but if I were to just measure the lead, I get a reading of 0.586 inches. Now the 454 Casul shot out of the 8 and 3 8 inch barrel. And I get a reading of 0.702 inches. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, before you head out, I want to let you know that the Gun Collective featured us in their video this week. They do a gun tuber of the week, and this week, Kentucky Ballistics made the cut. It was really nice of them. I really appreciate it, and I want to give them a special thanks. I'm going to leave a link to their channel in the description down below. That way, you guys can go check them out. Don't forget to leave your answers to the uh, question of the day in the comment section down below. I really want to know what you have to say. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you're a new subscriber, don't forget to hit the bell. That way you get notifications when we upload new videos. We upload new videos every week. If you're interested in Kentucky Ballistics Clothing, there's a link in the description down below that will take you to our shop. There's also links in the description down below that will take you to our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Don't forget to check us out over there too. Once again, guys, my name is Scott. You're watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.